Hello viewers and today I have got another off meta loadout for you and today I have finally gotten round to doing some loadouts for the Cold War shotguns and I am starting off with the Hauer 77 pump action. This weapon is extremely deadly in close range and it actually one shots as you might see in the gameplay that I've got for you. But as the range from the enemy increases, the damage drop off is quite considerable. I found myself sometimes having to fire four or five shots before I downed a fully armoured enemy. But it is really ideal if you want to be manoeuvrable and you've got cover in those close quarters engagements. You take cover while you are pumping the pump on the shotgun and then you step out and quickly fire and you are dealing plenty of damage whilst staying in cover when you can't deal damage. But before I break down these attachments for you and show you some awesome gameplay that I've got with this weapon, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty of videos coming your way every day, including things like the R9 shotgun, the Tundra, and all sorts of weapons like that coming your way very, very soon over the next couple of days. So subscribe if you would like to see some loadouts for those weapons. Just a quick little note before I get into these attachments, the actual statistics that I usually get for the, my other weapons come from True Game Data's website, but he does not publish statistics for the shotgun, probably because it's probably quite hard to measure things like the damage and the damage range, simply because it's a sort of buckshot shot, isn't it? And so it's very RNG, where the bullets will actually go within the hip fire spread. So it's quite hard to actually measure the DPS of a shotgun very often. But nonetheless, starting off in the muzzle attachment slots, I am using the agency choke for a whole host of advantages, including that all important sound suppression so you can really get the drop on multiple enemies if you make that flank, as well as a, I'm pretty sure, a 5% reduction to vertical recoil control for that extra easiness when it comes to follow-up shots as well as a boost to bullet velocity which is probably at around about 25 percent but that simply doesn't matter when you're using a shotgun as well as a slight boost to effective damage range which is usually at 10 percent this can really make a difference with the hower but because the damage range drop off is so quick you would need quite a considerable boost to actually notice any difference while you're fighting we lose a little bit of aim down sight speed and aiming stability, but I usually like to play with my shotguns, usually hip firing so I can stay nice and manoeuvrable. So we're pretty much getting quite a lot of free advantages with this agency choke. Also, it's worth noting that in Cold War, this agency choke actually tightens up the pellet spread and it does say improves pellet spread in the description. And so I can be fairly certain, hopefully fingers crossed, that this does improve the hip fire accuracy and therefore the range because the pellets coming from the shotgun are going to be in a tighter spread at the enemy. In the barrel attachment slot, I just came to accept that the effective damage range isn't going to ever be that good and so instead I'd rather want to fire off my second shot as quickly as possible and the 19.3 inch hammer forged barrel improves fire rate by the most. I'm pretty sure it's around about a 13% boost which means that your character is going to be cycling into that next buckshot round that little bit quicker so you can get off the finishing blow. More often than not it is usually a two shot at the ranges you're probably going to be using this shot and so that booster fire rate can really help you when people have got those especially high DPS SMGs. 
However, if you would like to try and take on enemies that are a little bit further away, then you can go for this 21.6 inch reinforced heavy barrel. It will increase fire rate by I think around about 7%, so it's a little bit less, but we do get a slight boost to effective damage range. Again, I don't know how much this boost is, but I've found from using both of these that I had a much easier time with the hammer forge barrel as it did feel like I was getting off shots a little bit quicker and I was beating people to the down. One of the most important attachments is this SWAT 5 milliwatt laser sight in the laser attachment slot because it will massively boost the hipfire accuracy of the weapon, or so it says. Of course, we don't have the statistics, so we just have to hope that they do actually work. But this hipfire accuracy, I'm pretty sure it's a boost of between 40 and 60%, at least that is what it is for the other Cold War weapons. And so this is pretty much a no brainer attachment because it's going to be tight tightening up the spread of our pellets. As I mentioned, with the poor effective damage range as we get a little bit further away, we may want plenty of additional shells in the tube before we have to start reloading, which can take a while as you do have to manually load each shell. And so using the Stanag 9 round tube is a good idea because we do lose a little bit of aim down sight time and the reload quickness is really only affected by the fact that you have to simply load more rounds into the tube, but you can cancel it at any point if you hear an enemy nearby. And so that 9 round tube can be really good for if you either miss or the enemy is just that little bit further away Way and you need that extra shot to finish them off. And for the final attachment, I thought in those rare cases I would improve my aim down sight accuracy and overall clarity with this mill stop reflex sight. I'm pretty sure it's around about a one time zoom, even though it does claim to be a 1.37 times magnification. And you will notice if you watch this gameplay that I've got for you in slow motion that when you do aim in with a shotgun, it does actually further tighten up that spread of the pellet from the shells, which means that the damage is going to be more concentrated on a singular area but of course when you're aimed in you lose a lot of aim walking movement speed compared to just the hip fire as you're strafing from left to right so it's very selective when you're going to want to be aiming down sights perhaps waiting for someone to come through a door and then you finish them off with a hip fire because movement is very important i think when you're using a shotgun like this but let me know down in the comments if you do give this weapon a go. It's definitely a very situational weapon, but I think it's really good fun because simply no one uses it and it's very satisfying when you actually get that one shot kill with this weapon, which is quite easy to do, particularly when you're in quite a small room and you'll really catch the enemy off guard. But let me know if you give it a go nonetheless and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the gameplay. Uh, I've missed roof now. I'll come back up. Enemy Your primary objective is to kill them all. Here, Charlie, Contact right here. Marking waypoint coordinates. Sending thermite. They're targeting me. Oh my! I didn't see him. Blind that on his team. Launching rocket. I'm lagging everyone. Oh, that's your fault, Mark. There are 24 enemies still out there. Kill them all. It's money. Hold out, drop headed your way. Oh, you are the idiot. Want it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recon's inbound. Oh, okay. oh so no, I'm in the the AO. no one even close. No. That'll be all. Yeah, no one's even in the mood either. Oh, okay, these look pushing us. Yeah. Be advised, UAV is being go fuel. Who's his teammate? Who's That's my team, right? At the shop, I think. Enemy UAV overhead. 
Yeah, he's just bought a thing from the shop, look. Oh, he's on the roof. The low roof yeah, or the, the full roof. top side roof? Side roof, side roof, yeah. Incoming. I've right. right. been shooting from other uh, other good up here. Really, I'm a satchel up here. I'm good, I'm good. Down. Primed. Down in brush. What floor? Oh. Uh, second floor now. Just reloading. Yeah. I'm going for me, I'm me, I'm me. Teammate's teammate dropped him, he's dropped the roof. He hasn't. Got him. Another one coming. To me. Just landed on me. Okay, okay, nice. I, don't, I think there's still one guy left in here. I'm gonna hide, find a heartbeat. Okay, loads of stuff in here. Is in dead body loot. Yep, guy. I'm coming. I think it's not reloaded. Nice. Yeah, nice. Go on. Finish the job. Got that good shit job. What are you using? Just not got the best range. He's miles away, mate. Okay. I've got 10 seconds. Uh, probably, I'm not gonna... Oh, I've got, I've got 24 seconds. I'm coming. Not sure if his teammate might have got back. I got him. He dodged straight away. Some stuff here. You can't get enemy. your stuff. Yep. Turn left, keep the pressure on! I'm in. I'm fine. We have to get to the safe. Enemy Don't get RPG'd. <laughs> that was good. Another one on control room. Did he have a sniper? Who wants this sniper? I love that. Move on my way. Thanks for that. Eyes on shooter. Hits. Who was They're gonna try and route the circle too, actually. Downed him. In. He's got a mate though. Hostile operator. Gas is moving in. Safe zone located. Mark check. Oh. Uh, other players here. Here, Charlie, on this roof. Worry about the train going past. Oh, he's got no health left. Oh, did you down him? I can cluster him if you want. Five well remain. Done. Stay sharp. See the window that connects them at a different angle. So if they want to peek you and they sidestep, I'll be able to get them. Friendly UAV overhead. Three v two v one. Got contact. Okay. Jump to come down. I'm hit. I'm fucking hit. Calling for fire. 
on my target. I'm clustering you. He's at the shop. I didn't look where his teammate was, I think. There's one in here. Oh, oh, I don't know. Next one along. Next one along. 2v1v1. This bit. I just seen him. Right. Gone to the back of the building now. Sorry, I'm gonna drop. I just dropped my money off here, but you can get that money and buy a full shot. He's gone out so that he must have gone to the left. That's a win. Well done. It's a bit easy really, isn't it? Rebirth. Look, that, that was just... They assassinated. They were both... They both were killed. Oh, nice. You got up with a tank rapid shot. 